Long ago, the world of order was created by God, and his servants, the angels, led it on its proper course. It was in such a world that countless mortals led happy, fruitful, and prosperous lives by His grace. However, even God's world is not eternal. The pure, unsullied path that God had forged will, as fate dictates, become a muddled, poisonous swamp at the hands of humankind. Disrupted order begets chaos, and chaos will likewise be consumed by order in turn. How will these keepers of knowledge strive and perish during their final futile hours in this doomed world? Let us watch them at our leisure until the new ruler is seated upon the throne. What is this? A passing soul? This is a path linked to the future. The choices you make will affect the very course of the world. Stay your hand now. The soul of that girl cannot be permitted to exist. By her very nature, she will lead the world into chaos and ruin. She must remain sealed here for all eternity. To take the girl from this place will lead not to the future destined for this world, but to a world yet unknown. Knowing only this, will you still take her hand? Thank you. Foolish soul. Do not forget that with a simple gesture, your decision has hastened the end of the world. We can only pray that you return to the proper path. That you find your way again. Everyone should have their own personal tablets now, but it sounds like some of you still need to get them registered. Those temp accounts are about to expire. So anyone who's been putting it off, better get on that. One other thing. It's been getting pretty dangerous out there. Remember the buddy system. Go back to the dorm in groups. 
That's it for homeroom. Thank you, sir. Hey, you heading back alone? You heard that talk about it being safer to go home in groups, right? You should walk with us. I think Miyazu and I ran into him a couple times. Yato, something like that. Aww, you're lucky your big brother looks out for you so much, huh? Um, I guess. We're the only family we've got. I don't think it's that strange to look out for my little sister. <laughs> sure, sure. So, how about we all walk home together? to talk about something? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been having these weird dreams lately. I keep hearing this distant voice, like someone far away is calling out to me. It keeps getting closer and closer, but just when it seems like they've almost found me, I wake up. And I keep having that dream every night. Kinda getting to me. I wish someone could tell me what it all means. Probably a reflection of something subconscious. Maybe you're just stressed over the future. It would make sense, since... Something going on? Looks like. Here, I'll go check it out. Oh, hi. My brother came back, but he needed to take a call or something. Walked off somewhere. Then Tao got a message, too. She went looking for somewhere quiet to try calling back. <laughs> uh, would you mind checking up on my brother? I know he's always looking after me, but I get worried about him, too. I'll just wait here in case Tao comes back. All right. So word on the street is a bunch of monsters have been seen hanging around this tunnel. pretty low. Pretty dark in here, too. Looks dangerous. All right. Enough screwing around. Let's go even deeper, yeah? 
I think we might be onto something big. Hey, what are you doing here? was secreted away in a paradise of his own creation. One day, a serpent sought out the mortals, seeking to tempt them into doing his will. Eat the fruit of knowledge in this paradise, and you will become more like God. The serpent's goal was to revive the war of the myriad gods. Oblivious to the serpent's machinations, the mortals of each realm ate the fruit, one after another, without fail. The knowledge they devoured then bound to their souls, birthing humans closer to gods. When the god of law saw this, he banished all humanity from his paradise in a fit of rage. Humans, the curious creatures infused with precious knowledge. Know that you are observed by countless demons, waiting for their chance to strike. How can this be? A human walks among us. This is no place for one such as you. I shall grant you sanctuary. Fortunate an angel of Bethel found you. Were it an agent of chaos in my stead, you may not be alive. Remain calm and keep still. You will be safe momentarily.
confirmed. Young man, if you wish to live, take my hand. So, the Nahobino make themselves known again, after all this time. Knowledge and life had remained separate until now. Perhaps the future is secured. Light or dark, you may chase whatever you please. I shall await you in the realm beyond the earth and heavens. Until then, may your newfound power guide your survival. Young man, can you hear me? You and I are now one. We have ascended to become a being known as Anahobino. Our form is based on my own appearance, but your knowledge seems to be the basis of our consciousness. I shall obey your will. Command me in battle, that we may best fight as one. Hostile targets eliminated. That was a horde of demons hunting you for your soul, young man. Additionally, this place is what is now called the Netherworld. Correct. Descendants of the gods of old, known now as demons. Furthermore, this is home to the demons. The Netherworld. But do not worry. I, Protofiend Algami, am here to assist you. Together, we have become a being known as a Nahobino. 
This new body should allow us to fend off the demons. Let us keep this form until we reach a safe location. I'd like you to go here, as it should help us get a better grasp of this world. 